We're showing the new battery charging standard um, and uh, how it works in terms of devices and hubs. Here I've got a Kindle Fire and I'm going to plug this into a standard USB 2 hub with no extensions in terms of supporting the battery charging standard or anything. And um, when uh, the Kindle Fire is charging at its full rate, it goes. It has got a little battery icon up there that goes green. Um, you can see that that is not happening, and that it's pulling 450 milliamps, which is just uh, just about the maximum that standard USB 2 can do. So it is charging, but at that 450 rate. Okay, so now I'm going to switch which uh, hub it's connected to. Instead of a standard USB 2 hub, we're going to connect to a, a new hub that supports the USB battery charging standard. Okay, so I plug that in over here, a different multimeter. And so now when we look at this, um, we can, when it's connected, bumped it a little bit. Um, we can see that it's uh, pulling, instead of 450, it's pulling 650, and you can see that little battery icon is going green and it's moving because it's charging um, at its full rate. Okay, so let me explain a little bit more about uh, the setup here and, and how this is working. So in, in both these cases, uh, both the standard USB 2 hub and um, the pluggable USB battery charging hub, um, we're connecting directly to the wall. There's actually no computers involved here. Um, and we've got this nice little rig here um, that allows us to measure how much amperage each of the each of the devices is pulling. And this whole issue of you know how do I get uh, so many devices now have USB chargers, but how to get them to charge at full rate is really a problem. Um, and uh, you know standard USB hubs, the way they're designed to work, and, and there's a lot of misconceptions about this is that the device actually chooses how much to pull off the hub. So like this hub here is you know, our, our best-selling pluggable hub. Um, we sell thousands of these every month. And it's got a 2.5 amp adapter. So a lot of people assume, well, it should be able to then charge anything up to 2.5 amps. But USB 2, as originally designed, doesn't work that way. It's actually up to the device um, to uh, negotiate for how much it's able to pull. And uh, so, by default, it can only pull 100 milliamps, and then only with a computer attached can it negotiate up to, through the USB configuration process, 500 milliamps. Now, you'll notice one thing immediately. Um, the fire actually is not USB 2 compliant because it actually goes up to the 500 milliamps or close to it. Um, without any computer attached, without negotiating. You won't find that actually with most devices. Most devices will um, not charge at all or charge at a very slow rate uh, with no computer attached. The new uh, USB battery charging standard though is targeted at this problem and, and simplifying it and providing a standard way to, to do charging. So in this case um, it's able to negotiate up to a higher charging rate um, just purely with hardware. There doesn't need to be attached computer. Um, the the BC11 uh, charging standard can support up to 1.8 amps with no, uh, no computer attached, uh, 1.5 amps um, when you're running at low speed, and 900 milliamps when you're uh, running at high speed. So the Kindle Fire here is basically you know keeping under the, the you know that high speed uh, charging level. In fact, it's it's not even quite getting up to 900 milliamps, just doing uh, 650. But you would not get um, this rate of charging with any normal uh, USB hub, uh, only because uh, the Kindle Fire and this hub supports the USB battery charging standard are you able to get up to that faster rate. So there you go. Um, you know we we you know have hubs um, that are really actually our best-selling ones at this point um, that are standard USB 2 hubs, great for connecting devices but not really designed for charging. And then we have our uh, new generation of hubs. Uh, this one's our small four-point uh, version. Um, and uh, they support not just all the same standard connectivity functionality as, as the existing USB 2 hubs, but they also support the USB uh, battery charging standard so that newer devices not older ones, just a few newer ones, and the Kindle Fire is one of the first, can charge at a higher rate even without a computer attached.